My name is uh, Mike Schneider. I'm with 10 8 Fire Equipment. We're up here with uh, City of Miami Beach. My name is Dave Noel. I'm Division Chief, City of Miami Beach. We're here today to uh, go over the, basically the pre-build of our new puck. Uh, they're in here on a pre-construction conference for their second puck pumper. It's a duplicate of the first unit, making a few changes to it. We already have one that's in service for about two years now. We are very satisfied with it and being able to navigate through narrow streets in South Beach through alleys. You know, we got a nice big um, print package from Pierce. It includes all their dash layouts, their compartment layouts, shelving. So we'll be looking that over today. Um, along with that package, we get a list of questions that Pierce Engineering has for us on some topics and that they found when the order was entered. So first thing I do is I sit down, I go through that list of questions with the customer. After that is done, we'll then start going through the component list item by item, uh, along with the uh, blueprints. Make sure everything that they ordered is there, in the location they want it, colors are correct. After that's done, we'll then uh, make an appointment with the graphics department, make sure all the design work is correct. It's not like going and picking out a car at, at a car dealer and picking out from A and B and C. This is uh, from A to Z and everything in between. Another big reason that we like to come up here to do this conference is because, um, again, you know, the customer does like visiting Pierce. It's always been a very good experience. Um, they get to know people here. There's a lot of people in the office and in the shop floor that repeat customers get to know over time and look forward to coming back and, and, and meeting with again and talking to. During our trip up here, we've been able to bring up uh, new individuals from our department. Some that have been here before, but, but some that are, are new to experience the, uh, the whole effect of, of what it is to build a fire engine. As a chief, I'm basically responsible to make sure the vehicles work, but I'm not in them every day, so we try to have the end users come up and get the hands on them so that uh, they know exactly what they want and how it's going to work for them. So this, uh, this experience of walking around and, and actually talking to those individuals has been very beneficial, not just to me, but, but especially to them. It also helps the customer come up here to see other customers and look at what they're doing and see how their products are going together. And they see things that, that you know, hey, I could do that and move this over here and that might you know, improve the product for them a little bit better. You know, we're always looking forward uh, for new ideas for safety for firefighters, safety for the citizens, and safety for pedestrians or anybody else. You know, all the bright firefighters that are out there that come up with, with great ideas, and we can go through and pick out the ones we like and the ones that will work for us. And, you know, if there is anything that we've thought of or someone else has thought of, it is the time to address it before we actually take acceptance in it. But even after that, we've been working with Pierce and with Mike Snyder and 108 for trying to address any issues that come up that we just don't foresee. Our next trip back is the uh, final inspection. Always look forward to that to see a bright new, beautiful red fire engine, but to make sure the fit and quality of service is done. And so far, that's been our, our, our case here. We've had a good working relationship with Mike Snyder from 108. We work towards uh, you know, a joint relationship, and it's not just a builder and, and a buyer, but it is a symbiotic type relationship.